Hey there. All right. So in this video, we're going to talk about something from chapter 10 with percents and taking out some discounts. We know we all love sales. You love getting a deal on something and you've had discounts in real life, but now you can figure out using percentages and that golden strategy of like, what is 10% or 1% to find out any calculation of a discount. Um, and so now we're going to get into the practice. We're going to do, I'll show you an example from the book, do another one, and even a two-step problem. So let's take a look at this example. Uh, we're going to buy a sofa today. The regular price of a sofa was $2,000. During a sale, Mr. Baker bought that sofa at a 15% discount. So how much was the discount? That's this question. So it's just a one-step calculation. Here we have it, the bar model and this nice raccoon lady. We'll leave it up. So if we have, oh, it's like a comparison bar model. I like that. The regular price, 100% is $2,000. The sales price will be 15% off. So eventually you'll do the harder math where it's going to ask you what's 85. So we're going to only have to pay for 85% of it. So we could take off 15% or calculate what's 85% of 2000. But this is just asking, hey, what is the discount? And the discount will be 15%. So let's see what they have us do. Well, $1,000, 100% is $2,000. The original cost, full price, 2000 bucks. What would 1% be? Okay, I'm cool with that. Well, divide it by 100. That's really like removing two place values instead of 2,000s, 200s, two tens. $20 would be 1%. So 15% would be 20 times 15. And then you did, that's $300 off. So again, the question here was how much was the discount? it would be $300 off. They could also have asked you, how much was it after the discount? Then we would subtract 300 from the original price. You could also multiply it, like uh, 15 hundredths times 2,000. You know that 15 hundredths is also written as this, 15 hundredths of 2,000. So if you want to, you could do 2,000 times 0 0.15, but then you have all these zeros that a lot of you might make some mistakes in. So I think this strategy is what I'd prefer. Find 10%, find 1%. Okay, so let's do another example. We're going to the museum. The mission price of a ticket would cost $35. So the total cost would be $35. This is page 251 if you want to fill it in on your own. Each sen senior citizen was given a 15% discount. Oh, that's nice. So how much of a discount would they get? 100% full price is 35 bucks. What would 1% be? Well, that's 35 divided by 100. 35 divided by 100 is 3,500 hundredths or 35 cents. So the discount is not 1%, it is 15%. So we need to do times 15. 35 cents times 15. You can do that over here. I don't care which one's on top. They're both two digit times two digit. Maybe I'll do 15 times 0 0.35. All right. I'm gonna estimate, hmm, well it's less than 50% discount. It's gonna be less than seven, maybe like six bucks. Let's see. All right, 25, 75. Okay, this three is a place value bigger, so I am going to increase the place value by putting the zero. 15, <laughs> that's a zero, just trust me on that. Three plus one is four. Add that up is five twenty five. 
So the senior discount was $5.25. So how much did they pay? You'd subtract it, it'd be less than $30. It'd be $29.75. I kind of want to check this. It feels right, but I estimated six, which is kind of close. So let me do my golden strategy up here. Well, 10% of $35 is 3.5. I'm gonna do 5%, which would be from 10 to five is half. Divide this by two, and that's a little harder. 3.4 would be 175, one it would be 17, 175. Add that up, five, yeah, bingo, 525, I am right. Okay, that's how we do one problem with discounts. The discount was 15, so we took 10 or five or whatever. And then instead of sales tax where we'd add, in this two step, we're gonna need to subtract, okay. Let's bring this down so you can see it. A sofa costs $600. What was the price after a 15% discount? So regular price, sales price, right? So it regularly costs 600 bucks, but we are going to take off 15% discount. Some of you would say, well, Mr. Dix, that's 85% of the cost. So yeah, you could subtract 100 minus 15 and get 85 and just multiply that. You could subtract first where we did 100% minus the 15 equals 85. Or we could find what's 15 and subtract that from the total. You could subtract at the end. I think I'm gonna do that. So let's find 10% of 600. You know that? It's 60. A 10% discount would be 60 bucks off of that, but it's gonna be 15. Now what I would do is do this. Well, if 10% is 60, what's 5%? Just divide by two. That's kind of a nice way to get to that. 30 bucks. So so if 10% is 60, 5% is 30, what would 15% of 600 be? Add it up. It's 90 bucks. Cool, are we done? $90 discount, we're done, right? Oh, it says, what was the price of the so, well, what was the price after the 15% discount? Oh, okay. So we have the regular cost was 600 minus the discount means it would be $510 after the discount. Cool. So that's how you calculate discounts. You just get the percent and subtract from the total. Hope that was helpful. If you're working on interest, that's the next video I'm gonna make. Cool.